Okay, so I put a little bit more thought into this Groudon Zaru team than I did the Melmetal team, so if it doesn't do well, I am very disappointed. But hey, we're locked and loaded. Let's find out what happens. Okay, so we have Groudon with a weakness policy, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I read on it. Uh, we have Zarud with Koba Berry, because Airstream is probably still a thing. Um, we have Life Orb Victini. Did you guys know that thing gets bounced? I didn't. Uh, so, you know, Airstream Victini might be a thing. I was debating on White Herb on Victini, because, you know, V Create. Uh, that thing is disgusting. Uh, it's basically close combat, but also lowers your speed at the same time, because Victini burns itself out a little bit. But hey, Victini is going to be fun too because Victory Star raises your accuracy and your partner's accuracy by 10%. Um, that's fun. Because, you know, Precipice Blades. If it ain't 100, it's zero. Um, accuracy wise. Uh, also, Power Whip on Zarud. It's 85. Uh, not something I like, but hey, it's a fun physical grass type move. Let's do it. Uh, speaking of Zarud, let's talk about Zarud for a minute. Uh, Jungle Healing. That's a fun move. Uh, get a little bit of HP back and heal status conditions. Also, when Sun is on the field, Zarud can't be burned, because Leaf Guard. Uh, we have a Regigigas uh, Groudon uh, team with uh, both Groudon and Kyogre, Charizard, Regi Alucky, uh, Regigigas, and Weezing. All right, so. Uh, okay, uh, we have Rock Slide on the Zarud, which is going to be fun for that Charizard. Yeah, uh, we do have the Rock Slide on that. Uh, I don't like the Reggie Alecky for speed control, though. I also don't have Fake Out, but I do have Grimmsnarl. I do have the Grimmsnarl. Okay, let's maybe lead Grimmsnarl and... Do I think they lead Kyogre? Or do I think they lead Gigas? Gigas could be nasty. Yeah, if they lead Gigas. Uh... I think maybe we bring Zarud. Because if they go Charizard Groudon, I could Scary Face Rockfall the Charizard. Which I wouldn't be opposed to. Um, I think we definitely bring Groudon. And you know what? Maybe we bring Victini as well. Yeah. Even getting to Rock Slide Charizard would be fun if they don't max it. Because, you know, Groudon's a viable option for max. Uh, so is Kyogre. That said, Zarud might put a little bit of pressure on them with the Power Whip. So they might even go Giga Squeezing. Which I'd be okay with. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. It is Groudon and Charizard. Alright. I like this so far. I can scary face the Charizard. I can even get rid of their son with Zarud. I think we're gonna go all in. I think we're gonna Rockfall. Oh, that's right. I don't I don't have Darkest Lariat on here. I have Protect instead. Okay. So we'll Rockfall the Charizard. And we'll scary face it. The fact that they brought Charizard and Groudon makes me almost think maybe they didn't bring Weezing and Gigas. Oh yes, please max your Charizard. Please max your Charizard. I got a Rockfall for you. Yeah, that's a Charizard. It's a bit of a big flaming Charizard, but it's still a Charizard. Oh, I just had a thought, too. I'm pretty sure Zarud is naturally faster than Charizard anyways. Whoops. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure Zarud's base 105 speed. And Charizard's base 100. So I shouldn't have to worry about the scary base anyways, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, we can overgrowth the Groudon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Definitely going to slow down the Charizard anyways, but what we could do is we're going to guarantee that we're going to be faster than this thing. So, um, I didn't see a Charity Berry, so that's a Squish Charizard. Um, depending on what comes in here, if it's Kyogre or, um, Weezing or Regilecki, 
we could even go for like uh, light screen or reflect. Groudon just protected, so we could just overgrowth the um, Groudon. If it's a lucky, that's not great, but I don't mind playing with speed control. Um, it is ready lucky, okay. So, you know what? We'll light screen and we'll uh, we'll overgrowth the Groudon. My opponent doesn't have any max anymore, which is nice. And my opponent forfeits right off the bat. All right. <laughs> oh, go jungle monkey. Um, I think I'm going to put Darius Lariat on this thing, though, so I'm going to be back in a minute. Okay. All right. We have the mascot for Moon, the mascot for X, the mascot for Sword, the mascot for Y, and then the fire monk, the fire cat, and the drum monkey. Okay. <laughs> so. <sighs> Victini might actually be really fun here. Um, we got Wild Charge for Max Lightning fun. We got V Create to melt that Zation. I think this might be a Victini and uh, Grimmsnarl game. Yeah, I think that might be what we want. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about that Xerneas though, uh, if it gets set up. I think we're going to leave Zarud here. I think we're gonna go. I think we'll go Pheromosa and uh, Groudon in the back. Maybe we have coaching on Pheromosa, which will help with Groudon. And you know, Airstream might be fun off Victini. We'll see. Um, Final Gambit Choice Scarf would be kind of fun, but it's kind of. I mean, it's even more meme -y than this. I was gonna say Final Gambit just says nope. Just max your HP stat, and then you do the exact amount of damage as your HP. Okay, so Zacian and Xerneas. Um, Alright, so... Pick my poison. Who do I... I think I go for the Xerneas, and I think I also go for a Scary Face into Xerneas. No, Victini is faster than Xerneas. Um... I think what we do is I think we flare into the Xerneas and I think we reflect for Zacian. Uh, no, I think we scary face Zacian. Yeah, I think we scary face that Zacian. Because I want to hit that Xerneas as hard as I can, as fast as I can, and I want that dog to be slow. I want Victini to be faster than... Um, Station. Because I'm re oh, that's really cool, actually. Um, yeah, I like that animation. Um, see how much damage uh, Victini can do to um, Xerneas here, because, you know, it's a physical fire type, base 150. That's fun. Alright, so... They got some bulk. They really do. Okay. That's a little concerning. There's the Geomancy, which, you know what, that's fine. Um, I'm probably losing Grimmsnarl here, but Groudon is going to be faster than Zacian. So, what I could probably do is I could probably go for a Airstream into the Xerneas. Oh, they did have Crunch. Oh, gross. Okay. Um... New plan. We're going to max player the Zacian, and we're going to scary face that Xerneas. We'll undo its speed boost. And we'll send the dog packing. Because uh, I... Oh, oh, they're Dynamaxing. Okay. That's gross. I don't like that. Um, yeah, I really do not like that at all. But, you know what? We have a sun on our side... That Xerneas. We can get rid of its speed. That'll help Groudon out in the long run. Oh, <laughs> it's max guard. Okay, nice. Okay. So, we can burn a turn, another turn of their max. We can slow them down. Uh, we'll get rid of uh, Zacian. Yeah, I didn't like that crunch. Uh, Victini didn't either. 
Oh, poor Victini. But anyways, uh, what we can do... We could probably go Scary Face into Xerneas, slow it down, and then maybe go for uh, another V-Create. Yeah, we could maybe do that. Okay. There's Dark Aura. Yeah, alright. I think maybe that's what I do. I think maybe we go for the, the Xerneas here. And try to slow it down. That said, who do I got in the back again? Uh, Groudon and Faramosa. Okay, so yeah. Um, Groudon would have to deal with Xerneas. That's the only thing. Uh, yeah, I... Nope, we don't want that. We want... That. And... That. Because we do have the sun working in our favor. It's a physical fire move. Uh, Victini is scared of Eveltal, but that's okay. Victini did more than enough. And I would much rather keep Grimmsnarl. So we get rid of their Xerneas. They have Eveltal. Uh, they probably have a fake out user in the back. Okay, so there's the Dark Pulse. That's fine. Uh, we lose Victini, but that was our last turn of max. Uh, Victini picked up two KOs, which is wonderful. Um, I think we go ground on here, and I think we light screen. Yeah, I think we light screen here because it's two special attackers, and honestly, I think we rock slide too. Yeah. If we break Lunala's Shadow Shield, that's awesome. Because uh, then we can bring in Faramosa, go for coaching with Groudon. Or, on, on to Groudon. Whoa, there's Hypnosis. Okay. That's a thing. Alright. Alright, so Oblivion Wing didn't do that much damage. Which is good. If this is a policy... No, it's not. It's a uh, life orb. Okay, so I'm a lot more happy with that. Um, Lunala's leftovers. All right. All right, so there's no chill there at all with Lunala in that hypnosis. Um, that said, we'll scary face it so that it's slower than uh, Groudon. Yikes. Okay. Um, we'll take whatever it is that Yveltal throws at... Uh, Yveltal's got Roost. Okay. Alright. That's a thing. Maybe we get the flinch on uh, Lunala? That'd be nice. No, they go straight Moonblast. Okay. Into Grim. Grimstar was going to take that like a boss. Uh, I don't care about that special attack drop at all. Uh, Harsh Sunlight is gone. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I wish I had a Dark-type move to hit that Lunala with, but I don't. But what we could do is... Uh, we Rock Slide and Spirit Break. Start throwing those out. Because I should be able to live another Oblivion Wing. Oh, there's Tailwind. Uh, that could be bad for Hypnosis um, shenanigans. Okay, they're gonna land it. Bundaba. Okay. But we do get a spirit break into Yveltal. Oh, that did so much. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. We also know they're leftovers. Uh, we're guaranteed to sleep this turn, so you know what? We'll just go uh, Spirit Break into Yveltal, try to pick it off. Yeah, they're just going to roost. Alright, that's fine. I should be able to live a Moonblast off Lunala. 
should be the key word. Yeah, 4 HP. And I wake up, that's nice, alright. So, we do get a fire punch off. So, Evolto's at minus 2. Lunala has a good chunk of its HP. I think what we'll do... On the off chance that Yvelto goes for Roost, we'll go for a uh, Precipice Blades, because that'll still hit, because Roost will take away the Flying Typing, and we'll Scary Face the Lunala. And then that way, that'll undo the Tailwind. And then I can start coaching with Faramosa, get some boosts into Crowdon, and then just start breaking through these things. So let's see... 4 HP into... Grim. Okay, that's fine. Um, at least Precipice Blades is going to hurt Lunala. Because I should be faster now. Yeah. We don't hit Eveltol because it's immune. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot. That's good. And we also dodged the Hypnosis. So, I think what we're going to do... We're going to bring in Faramosa here. We're gonna Icy Wind and Rock Slide. Because now we can start cutting the Veltal speed. They have Tailwind. Never mind. Um, this is their last turn of Tailwind. Alright. So, we're just gonna stall it out. Yeah. We're just gonna stall it out because I'm scared of an Oblivion Wing. Because Faramosa does not have good speed. Or not good defenses. It's it's fast. It's a fast, a fast Roach. Fat. I think I said fat. Uh, anyways, I meant to say fast. It's a fast roach. Nice try with the hypnosis, my friend. Nice try. You get your leftovers. Because things are going to start getting a wee bit chilly here. If they whip out wide guard, I'm going to be really, really sad. <laughs> I don't think they have it, though. Uh, but that said, I've only seen Hypnosis and uh, Moonblast so far. I would assume Moongeist Beam. And maybe... No, you wouldn't want to run Meteor Beam and Leftovers. That would be ridiculous. Eh, we dodge... Or, Lunala dodges, but eh, that just means we get to hit Yveltal with this. Uh, we get to slow uh, Yveltal down. Now, that was a crit, so you know what? We just... Uh, we just took out the death bird with probably the weakest ice type move that's viable in the game maybe i don't know and we missed rock slide okay that's fine you know what they missed their hypnosis it's pheromosa time we're just gonna bug buzz we're gonna bug buzz and fire punch because accuracy um i'm really happy with victini though all things considered with how this played out um, yeah. Victini took out two major, uh, Restricteds that were definitely, uh, monsters in their own respective formats. I mean, Zacian's format is Gen 8, but Xerneas was a monster from Gen 6 and I'm pretty sure Gen 7 too. So, Victini took them both out, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, good game to my opponent. Okay, we've got Palkia, Calyrex, Duraludon, Regieleki, Tapu Koko, and Kyogre. Alright, so Rising Voltage uh, is a threat. It's a big threat. But maybe what we can do is we go Grimmsnarl. Maybe we bring Victini to this one. Um... I like the idea of having Groudon as a switch. So maybe we bring Victini in the back. Groudon in the back. Or Victini is gonna be our like one of our leads. Um, and then maybe Faramosa. Though I do like Zaru. I do, ooh, you know what? Zaru might be spicy for Kyogre. Yeah, let's let's give it a chance. Let's give Zaru a chance here. 
Yeah. We'll see how this goes. I do like the idea of being able to switch Ingrout on, because my opponent does have three things weak to ground. Like, Precipice Blades looks really nice. The only problem is Kyogre. Kyogre kind of thwarts my plans. So does Palkia. Palkia also thwarts my plans. And that's not too good. Um, so, you know, Zarud might be fun. Uh, Duralude on a Calyrex. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so, that is a ghost type. I don't like ghost types at all. Especially ghost types that could potentially run things like, oh, I don't know, a Focus Sash. Uh, I think maybe we'll bring in Zarud. Zarud might be fine here because we can go Darkest Lariat into Calyrex. We'll keep Victini safe. Uh, Duraludon has very, very uh, frail special defense. Ooh, this could be scary. Yeah. This could be potentially really scary. Okay, so, oh no, it's just, it's not even G-Max, okay. So, I mean, they get to keep Wormwind as opposed to Depletion, but hey, I'm fine with that. Uh, they can Steel Spike, but I have Darkest Lariat and I'm not afraid to use it. Um, we'll get our light screen off, which is nice. We can maybe scary face the Calyrex. I do have two dark types, which is handy. Um, we're probably taking a steel spike and a grim, which is not good. Yeah, that's not good. Grim doesn't get to survive that, but that's alright. Um, we do have light screen support. What we could do... Okay, they're Life Orb. Uh, we bring in Groudon. We max Groudon. We go for a max Quake. And maybe even Jungle Healing. Because we're going to take a good chunk of damage. Uh, there's no way around that. Yeah, we're going to take a really big chunk of damage here. Um... Yeah, we, we want to get that HP back. Um, Zarud will at least be faster than Duraludon. Groudon's probably... I don't even remember what Duraludon's speed is. It's been that long since I've used it. Um, I think in Series 6 or 7? Whenever I started actually filming content, uh, that's when I actually started... Uh, that's when I used Duraludon. Um, okay, so... I don't care for the Kyogre, but I went for the Jungle Healing to get HP back this turn for a reason. And we're going for a Quake Boost. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and maybe Duraludon goes for Groudon? I mean, I'm a Grass Dark type with Zaru, so I can still hit Kyogre really hard regardless. Um, and we'll get the Jungle Healing off. Uh, Zarud's gonna go back up to almost full. And we get our Max Quake into Duraludon, so we get rid of that, all the better. We don't, but that's alright. That means no free switch for my opponent. And we do get a special defense boost, which is handy. Um, yeah, there's the Wormwind. They did have a Steel Spike boost too, which is not pleasant, but it's livable. And they are life orb, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rock follow the Kyogre. And we're also gonna power whip it. We're gonna whip it good. Yeah. We'll go for rock follow, get rid of the rain. We'll go for the power whip. Uh, Zaru did take an attack drop too, with that Wormwind, which is a little bit concerning. But, if we get the Rockfall, in a perfect world, Calyrex comes in, breaks the Sash from the sand, and we Darkest Lariat it. Four times super effective, base 120 attack. 
Zarud should still probably one-shot that thing. Duraludon's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but that's all right. We're gonna get the Power Whip off into Kyogre, so... Ooh! Go Zarud! All right, so we could have gone for a Quake, I guess, into Duraludon, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, we do have the special defense boost, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna get our Sand. Um, so that still helps with dealing with Calyrex. Because if that thing is sashed, we get rid of it. Alright, so there's another Wormwind. Uh, minus two. Not pleasant to deal with, but we do have the light screen on the field as well. So, Duraludon's wearing itself down pretty good. Um, I'm getting a little concerned about Zarud's HP stat. That's the only thing. Yeah. We are faster than uh, Duraludon. Oh, there's Palkia, which that's concerning. Alright, so. Duraludon shrinks down. That's fine. We still get another turn with Groudon, so maybe... We go for the Quake... Try to do a little bit of damage, like get a little bit of chip into Palkia, and we go for the jungle healing. We can leave Duraludon on alone for right now. I'm a little bit more concerned about that Palkia with its full HP bar. Uh, we lost Grim. We still have Zarud. Uh, we have Victini in the back too. Yeah, that's right. We still have Victini. Um, I might even have to switch out Groudon. Yeah, I don't want to, because we do have a good amount of boosts. But we might have to do that. Although... A special defense boost could help. Yeah, um... Still a good chunk. Yeah, it is still a good chunk to Palkia there. Alright, so, what is Duraludon going to do? Ah, it's just Flash Cannon. Alright, into Zarud. The Life Orb's going to wear that down. Uh, Alright, so, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to jungle healing with Zarud again. And go for a little bit of chip with uh, Groudon. Yeah. I'll go for the jungle healing there. Uh, assuming Palkia doesn't crit me, that's nice. Because I really need Zarud to be able to get rid of uh, Calyrex. That's the one problem here. And that's into Zarud. I saw the monkey turn. So, we're going to get rid of Duraludon. Uh, Palkia's hanging on. I don't think we're getting to keep Zarud here. No, we aren't. But the sand is whittling down Palkia. That's handy. Um, yeah. I highly, highly doubt that we get to uh, live in Astro Barrage with Victini. If we did, that would be awesome, because then Zarud could uh, do something, but it's not going to, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I wish I was Scarf Victini, too, because Victini would be able to um, at least go for the B-Create and get ahead of Calyrex, but that's not going to happen, obviously. Um, how much is... Oh, Groudon took that, no problem. I mean, Zaru goes down because it only had 1 HP. Um, what would have been nice is if I had Protect, because then I could have let the Sand take out um, Zaru, and then that way Calyrex wouldn't get another boost. But unfortunately, that's what's going to happen here. I think, I think Calyrex is going to steamroll me now. 
because that plus three, um, I have plus three special defense. I don't think I live this. What I could do is I could protect with the Kini and Grout on here. Try to get a little bit more sand uh, damage. This is, is the last turn. I'm also not focus sashed with Victini, so, you know, that is a thing. So. We'll find out if. Uh, I'm pretty sure Calyrex is focus sashed here, too, so, anyways. It is what it is. There's the Astro Barrage. Um, we might be able to live it this turn. Well. Alright, so. What we need is to get really, really lucky here. Land this Precipice Blades and go and get a crit. That's what we need. Yeah. Unless they want to go for Groudon because they know they can get rid of Victini at any point. No, there's the Astro Barrage. Um, Victini's definitely not living that. Groudon just barely held on. Uh, there's no way Groudon's living this either. So, they just hit plus two. We need a crit at best to be able to get rid of this thing. So... Definitely not. Um, it was a close one, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it was really close, but Calyrex is just gonna put too much damage into uh, Groudon now. So, anyways... All things considered, I think this was a really close game. And, uh, yeah, it, it just boiled down to, you know, that Duraludon cutting Groudon's attack pretty much, losing Zarud. Um, if I had Protect, great, but I don't. Um, if I had Protect and lost Zarud to the sand damage, at least then that way they wouldn't have gotten their first boost. With the Light Screen, Victini might have lived. But that feels really, really optimistic, so I don't know. It's definitely a damage count thing, but anyways, good game to my opponent. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Victini and Zaru team in action. I had a lot of fun playing with it. Uh, we <laughs> we had a really great start with uh, getting my opponent to rage quit on turn two, because Zaru took out a Charizard. That was a thing. Um, second game, we definitely had more of a Victini showcase. We took down Xerneas, we took down Zacian with it. Uh, I'm very happy with how it played out. Unfortunately, a third game was a loss, but it was a really close loss. Um, and like I said at the end of that one there, Calyrex just got a little bit too far ahead with the boosts. Otherwise, well, if you want to recap, just go re-watch that part of the video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you like the team, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any ideas on how to tweak the team, definitely let me know down in the comments below as well. Uh, we didn't end up bringing Tapu Fini to any of the games, but I feel like Tapu Fini is still a valid option to have. It also forms a nice fire, water, grass core uh, with Victini and Zarud. Um, Grimstar's speed control and screens was definitely uh, handy. Faramosa had Icy Wind. We didn't really use the coaching tech too, too much, but hey, it's there for both uh, Groudon and Victini as well as Zarud. This is a moderately physical team because you know the only special attackers on the team are Tapu Fini and Faramosa but hey food for thought anyways I will see you guys next time